Oh, I forgot my coffee. Hmm. to the air effect my name is Christina today I'm gonna to share a unique vintage haul review and lookbook with you and that sounds like a lot I know but I promise it won't be too terribly long of a video we hope as you all know a little while ago I started a series well I only did one video of vintage brand reviews retro clothing brand reviews and I have been wanting to continue that for a while but I just haven't been motivated because I'm like, I'm not motivated to do a lot of clothing themed videos in summertime because it's hot and it's not as fun to film. And um, yeah, I just, I hadn't been motivated to pick out another brand from my closet to review. But recently I reached out to a few brands to see if anybody wanted to collaborate, maybe have me do a YouTube haul, something like that. And Unique Vintage responded that they would love that. So here we are. So my purpose with these videos is not to advertise any one brand exclusively. My purpose with these videos is to hopefully share retro brands that you can go and purchase from and know that you're getting good quality items. My thoughts and opinions are all honest and true and hopefully I can provide you with the best information that I know how so that you can go and make happy purchases for your closet. I had all of these things in my cart from Unique Vintage and if they had not responded yes to collaborate with me, I probably would have just bought the whole cart. I'm really excited about this. I hope they like the video and I want to give them a big thank you for sending me the items that I requested. Um, I'm just really excited about it. I'm not being paid for this video. It is fully just a gifted item review, but I will be very honest with every single item. It is always my goal to provide you with the most honest feedback about any brand that I'm talking about so that you can make informed decisions, especially if they're more expensive brands. Let's get started into this unique vintage unboxing, haul, review, whatever you want to call it. First. So first up is this black and white striped knit top. I'm super excited to wear this. This was one of the first things that caught my eye. It's sort of a slash neck and then just a simple retro sweater. I noticed that the shape of it has a little bit of a waist, which is nice. Um, I think that will be really helpful in the fit. I'm hoping that will stop it from rolling upwards, but the quality feels like it probably won't be rolling. It's a lot thicker than I expected, which is really nice actually. And yeah, I'm excited to try this on. The other thing I just noticed is that there's a little button detail right here in the sleeve, which is very cute. So if you're looking for this top online, it is called the Gracie Top. It is $58 and it comes in a size extra small, which is a size 2 on their website, all the way up to a 5X, which I think is a size 26. And let's roll the clip of me wearing it. Okay, so this top is every bit as nice as I expected it to be. The quality is so good and the shape definitely helps it not to roll up at the bottom, but I think that's also a part of the quality. It stays where it's supposed to be. Um, it doesn't need to be constantly fiddled with and I really appreciate that. So if you're somebody who has, you know, a chubby belly area and you need something that is going to stay down and not constantly roll up, this could be the top for you. Um, I really love it. I am so excited to wear it again and again. I know that I could definitely style it several different ways. So if this is something that you want me to see me do, I can maybe like style it five different ways. Let me know in the comments because I have some ideas and I might do it anyway, even if nobody requests it. So yeah, 1010 recommend this top. They have it in several different colors and I would definitely recommend going to get any or all of them, uh, because that's what I really want to do. Ooh, these are nice. So next up are these 1940s style window pane print pants. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I hope these fit well. Uh, pants are always a little bit of a toss up for me because I have a rel like a relatively small waist in proportion with my hips. There's a I want to say there's a 16, 15 or 16 inch difference between my hips and my waist. So pretty much I always have to order pants that will fit my hip and then take them in at the waist. And I already know I'm going to have to do that with these. So according to the online measurements, the waist is a 42 to 44. My waist is like a 
34 to 36 so I will have to alter these a little bit but that should be fairly easy I'm just going to kind of take in the back waist a little bit I don't think that the extra large would have fit me at all because the waist would be my size but the hips are like uh, <laughs> really small they do have some stretch it's not a lot but it's a little bit you could get away with with uh, there's probably like a two inch stretch two or three inch stretch so if you are looking for these online they are called the 1940s window pane check pant they are $68 and they come again from an extra small up to a 5x one of the things I noticed that I really like is that they made the pocket over here instead of putting it into the button area I've seen some companies make pants oh, yeah. where this is the pocket and that's so unflattering so I'm glad that it's a real pocket for one and I'm glad that it's actually over on the side instead of being underneath the buttons the trousers oh my goodness i love the trousers so they definitely did run large i mean i knew that they would and i had to safety pin them in the back which you will see later but otherwise the quality is super super nice if you are going to get these trousers i definitely recommend that you buy your hip size and then tailor the waist if you need to because there is not enough stretch to size down for your waist at all um, I would not recommend that unless you can really squeeze into a pair of pants um, the stretch like I said is fairly minimal maybe like two inches it's enough stretch to give you a good ease of movement um, but not enough stretch to size down if your waist is a smaller size um, than the size chart says for your hips so get the size that you need otherwise these are such nice quality i love them i i can't wait to actually alter them so that they fit correctly because i'm can see myself wearing these all the time next up this one. Ooh, this one's so good this color i don't even know if this is a color that will look good on me but I could not resist. This is the Chartreuse Gwen blouse. I got it an extra large, which I think should fit fine. I was a little concerned because the bust is like an inch smaller than me, but the next size up would have been too big everywhere else. So, um, oh, this color, this is definitely a more bold choice. But look at the sleeves. Oh, it's got good sleeves. It's got like bell sleeves. I don't know what those are called, bishop sleeves. It's got bishop sleeves. Um, and it is a super fun chartreuse color. This one is all polyester, which I was a little bit skeptical about because I definitely prefer not being all polyester, but the quality is really, really nice. And again, I can see it's got a good shape to it. So I'm very excited to try this on. Um, again, this is the Unique Vintage House brand, so it comes from an extra small to a 5X. And this is, this, is, this one is $58. This uh, is probably my second favorite thing. I, see, everything that I put on felt like my favorite thing, but this blouse is incredible. I will say the quality is really nice. It's very well made. The fabric is like sturdy, but I just don't like the way polyester feels. So that is my critique. I don't like polyester. I knew it was polyester. I probably should have avoided it but these sleeves the sleeves are so good this whole outfit honestly is probably my favorite outfit that I put together I love the combination this whole outfit is probably one of my favorites I felt amazing the sleeves on this blouse are incredible I highly regret not buying the Beetlejuice version of this blouse it is now sold out and I'm very sad about that so uh, if you have the chance to buy this blouse in any print, color, whatever, do it. This is so fun to wear. Uh, the only thing I have to say is that, you know, it's polyester and it feels like polyester. So next up is the one thing that is not Unique Vintage House brand, but it is another brand that I have owned. I should not be crinkling stuff. This is another brand that I have owned, um, and I like this brand. So this is the Juno Swing Dress. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. So this one is from Hell Bunny. Um, and I love the little bows. So it's a little bit less size inclusive. This one comes from an extra small to a 4X, but um, generally I am like a extra large in most, si most clothing brands, and in this I had to get a 2X. So the sizing is a little bit 
different. Um, they run small. You definitely have to size up. I'm really, really excited to wear it. It is a cotton material, which is really nice. And just the stripes, the stripes. It has pockets. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to style this dress. I think I want to say that Hell Bunny does offer quite a few options with stretch. They, they will usually do like a cotton elastane blend, but this one, it's got minimal stretch. I would not recommend sizing down at all. You definitely need to size up um, and get what is close to your measurements. Otherwise, it might not fit. I love the neckline. I cannot wait. I'm hoping that I can layer it when it gets colder. I really think this would be cute with a blouse underneath, maybe even the chartreuse one. Um, and the straps are adjustable. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I understand it from the viewpoint of just... People like to be able to adjust their straps. I personally don't like adjustable straps. I think they make it a little bit cheaper, but I can see why it's done. But very cute. Let's roll the clip of me wearing it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this one <laughs> is called the Juno Stripe Swing Dress. It comes in a size extra small to 4X and it is $88. This dress, y'all, I am in love with this dress. The biggest thing that I am going to note about this, and this is probably my only real critique, is that the size chart is confusing. Uh, online, it says that the dress runs small and you small. <laughs> the dress runs small and you should size up. Wow, why was that a tongue twister? So I kind of ignored that and just went by what the size chart said. And according to the size chart, I should have been almost perfectly fitting into a 2X. The size chart measurements and my measurements are only one inch different in the waist. It says it's a 36 waist and I'm a 35 waist. Um, but as you will see, it's actually like three or so inches too big all over. Just be aware of that if you get this, otherwise the quality is beautiful and the, the straps actually did not bother me as much as I thought they would. Although I think this is because, again, the size is just too big. They did fall off my shoulders because they are very wide set, um, but like that's not really something that bothers me too much. I know I can fix that. And I don't think that's a problem if it actually fits you like it's supposed to, so... The last thing up is kind of ridiculous. Um, it's not at all practical, but I don't really care. <laughs> Honestly, don't need this. But like, I need it, you know? I don't even like spiders, but this is just amazing. This is a house brand once again. It is a sheer spiderweb cape. It makes me so happy. <laughs> I love this. Um, the spiderwebs are all very velvety and then it is made out of mesh. So it comes in two sizes. It comes in one size and one size plus. This one is marked a size 6 to 8 so I'm not really sure how the sizing works on this but um, it seems like it's a very voluminous cape and I'm wondering if maybe just the neck size is different. I don't know but this it, it's a little bit stretchy. All of the spiderwebs are velvet. It is so beautiful. And I believe they also have two lengths. This one is the longer one, I think. Um, and then they have a shorter one that's like elbow length or something. So they are definite, there are definitely options. This one is gonna be so fun to style. Um, it's absolutely extra and I don't even care. And we are ending off with the cape, which ended up being my favorite thing, despite it being so simple and something that I didn't think that I actually needed. One of the things, if you're wondering why I keep saying that, one of the things that I try to do with my closet is ensure that the things that I get are things I'm actually going to wear, and they're not just for styling purposes. So everything that I chose in this haul, are it's all things that I actually will wear. Uh, I didn't just choose them because I was getting free stuff. I didn't need this cape because I didn't think I was going to wear it a lot, but I think I just proved myself wrong. I, I really wanted to style this in a way that wasn't like spooky and kooky and like Adam's family-ish because all of the all of the photos online are just like Morticia Adams and I didn't want that. I wanted to style it in a way that's actually wearable. I think I achieved that. Now I want to wear it over everything. Um, I have no critique 
of this cape. It is perfect. Uh, it is just exactly what it should be. Uh, it twirls well. It's sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's just gonna rip suddenly. I think it really helps that the mesh is a little bit stretchy because, yeah, this it's perfect. Uh, get it if you want it because it's, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so as I said, I will have talked about the quality of the fit within each clip of me wearing these items. So now I'm going to get into my categories, which thankfully I made a note of and I think I talked about in my last video, where I will go through the price, the quality, the options, size inclusivity, uh, the category, and the shipping cost and time. First of all, the options. They have a lot of options. They have something for everyone, I think. They range from like 1950s to 1970s, 1940s, they kind of have a big range. They do have a big range of options, so no matter what your vintage preference is, you will probably find something at Unique Vintage, whether it's their house brand or whether it's another brand that they stock. Um, I really like that. I like being able to have like a, a one-stop shop where I know I'm gonna find a lot of different things. So far as the quality, everything feels really nice. I will say I have purchased two items from them that I ended up returning. One was a suspender skirt. The fit just wasn't great. It was maybe just more of the shape of the garment rather than the make of the garment, um, but it did feel like a cheaper material. So I don't know if they maybe had, it was a, it was a deep sale item. So I don't know whether they maybe updated that particular fit and quality and they were just getting rid of old items or what but i really didn't like the fit and i and i think that was more just a shape thing and i wasn't happy with the quality of the fabric but none of these fabrics are like what that one was it was a very cheap feeling jersey fabric the other item that i ended up returning was a new one it was a tulip print cotton dress um, and it was just a fit issue i think that the biggest problem i noticed is if you are right in between straight and plus size i would err on the cost on the side of going straight size if you can because their plus options tend to have a really different cut and i noticed that it was made for people with a lot of chest and it just didn't quite fit right but again it's also probably an issue of me not having the right measurements because i was in between sizes and i went with a plus size and I probably could have gotten away with a straight size. Overall, the quality of these ones is so much better and I will have talked about the fit. I'm hoping that they all will fit well. They look like they will fit well just holding them up to myself. They seem like they will fit a lot better than the dress that I retuned. But I also have a swimsuit from them and I will show it to you here. This is my absolute favorite swimsuit. I love it to death. It is such good quality. It, it's like the fit is fantastic. The feel is fantastic. It is beautiful. Um, it was true to size. I love this swimsuit. I cannot say enough good things about the swimsuit. So overall, I think the quality is good. There were just those two items that I got that I was not super impressed with, but all of these seem like they are amazing quality so much better than the the other two items so size inclusiveness they are size inclusive they go from an extra small up to a 5x i also really like that they use models with more realistic plus size bodies so i feel like a lot of brands when they use a plus size model they do a lot of photoshop to make them the like ideal model shape there's no lumps and bumps none of that you don't you don't really see that but i've noticed on unique vintage that when they have a plus size model they don't seem to photoshop it like you can see that she has like back rolls or her waist is kind of rolling over the belt um and I know that's kind of a weird thing to notice, but as someone who does have back rolls and who does have a waist that kind of eats belts sometimes, I like to see that. I like to see my own body represented on a website so I can actually tell how the clothes are going to fit me. I find that super helpful. Category is all over the place. You can find pinup, you can find rockabilly, you can find true vintage looking items, you can find like everything. And the price is not too bad like i i would say you could buy something from them and not break the bank they are fairly affordable and i say that as someone who uh is always thrifting <laughs> and always on a budget the shipping cost and time i believe they have flat rate shipping 
costs if you are in the US. Um, the shipping time has always been pretty fast. I would say they arrive within a week um, of ordering my, the things that I have purchased um, arrived in about a week or less, I wanna say. But yeah, shipping is good, quality is good, options are great. I think my favorite thing about Unique Vintage is the options um, and the size inclusiveness of their models and just the general inclusiveness of their models. They're not all skinny white women, which is great. So that is it for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If there are other brands that you want me to look into, I certainly can. And like I said, I will probably, if there is a brand that you want me to review um, that I don't have, I will probably reach out to them to see if they would like to collaborate in a brand review. But my, my thoughts and opinions are always honest. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it just because they sent me stuff. And of course, if you want to help me purchase from brands who are maybe smaller businesses so I would like to support them with my money in a review you can always go down to my Ko-Fi link and check it out I hope that wherever you are you are feeling safe and loved and until I see you again have a beautiful day and thank you for watching bye oh you smell like sausage Feeling safe and loved. <laughs> safe and loved. So anyway, that is it for this video. Thanks for the background noise, Freya. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. I like it. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Walking through all of this in heels is a feat. There are multiple molehills. I'm shocked that I haven't fallen down yet. The shape of this is so beautiful. I, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Hey, it's you, Mama. <laughs> Are you going?